We have a new friend here. You want to talk talk about this person over here? She's well, a very she's ahead. a very important person. Julie Lovett is is with the uh, Bull Shoals White River State Park. What does Julie do? She's an interpreter. That's right. She's a park I'm, interpreter. I'm the park interpreter. Used to we were called the park naturalists. So we do all the guided hikes, the wildlife programs, recreational programs, which is one of the things I, I mm -hmm. was uh, going to talk to you about today. Kayaking workshops. Yeah. Can't keep up. Mm -hmm. uh, they absolutely. Well, you had some earlier ones, and yeah. I guess they just they took fill, off. Right? They fill yeah. and with a wait list. That's a popular and, sport right now, it seems like, around mm -hmm. here. Right, and I've noticed more and more over the last few years, uh, more and more. It's the fastest growing recreational boat there is, is a kayak. And, uh, and more and more anglers uh, are buying them mm -hmm. with, uh, you know, outrigged with <coughs> all the fishing uh, rod holders and yeah. all the gear for, you know, uh, uh, boxes, live boxes. Uh, so you can get them rigged with anything, but the workshop is meant to introduce people to the sport. Uh, it's, you know, it's two hours of dry land where we talk about safety, the laws, um, the different types of boats. And these are typically people that have little or no experience. Uh, you know, and I highly recommend that somebody like that take the course because then you're you know, you're, you're comfortable, you should feel safer. Uh, the strokes, the, you know, different kayaking strokes uh, really make a difference in mm -hmm. uh, injuries uh, and how to... In avoiding, uh, avoiding injuries. Injury. Yeah, <coughs> avoiding uh, shoulder injuries uh, and, you know, how to get in and out of the boat. Most, most people fall out of canoes and kayaks <laughs> getting in and out of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And... Uh, you know, so it, it's just been absolutely uh, a popular workshop. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a minimal, it's a six hour course. It's a $30 fee. Uh, we have one coming up on September 18th. It may be one of the, the last ones for the season as, you know, the water temperature gets colder. Um, it just depends on the weather mm -hmm. this year. So, which now, has been- the, You supply all the kayaks, is that right? All the gear is supplied. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> some really important information handouts that they take with them. Um, well, a, great, a great thing about courses like this, you cover it all. There's no question mm. as, to, as to, you know, you're there in a, in a situation with an expert talking about kayaking and all the, all the pitfalls that can happen. Right. And they get to do a Q&A if they want. Right. That, right. Right. That goes on pretty much in the, in the dry <clears throat> land. And then we spend four hours on the water demonstrating the strokes we show uh, what we call a wet exit if you get knocked out of the boat or fall out of the boat how do you get back in the boat if you're in deep water if you mm -hmm. can't get to shore um, <clears throat> I've been through I'm a certified kayaking instructor by the American Canoe Association so I follow their guidelines I've been through the river course but I'm not certified to instruct it but I do give tips because we're surrounded by mm -hmm. so many rivers, mm -hmm. you know, the Buffalo, the White, the Current, the, I mean, just on and on and on. Uh, I give a little bit of direction, but not instruction on mm -hmm. how to read a river, you know, is the bend, uh, in, a bend in a river, you know, you think the, is the water faster on the outside or the inside of the bend? So you and you got tips on how to yeah, how to figure that out. Yeah, and you can out. see these upstream V's that, and when you reach a shoal, which is fast water uh, or a chute, that will tell you where you need to go, uh, and there and you can definitely see them. Uh, oh wow! And and things to avoid, you know, down trees, uh, you know, and 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 all of this comes into play with uh, you know with our park, the White River. Same principles apply. Uh, so it's just a great informative uh, workshop that uh, is just we just literally can't keep up with. Mm. I mean, I did the last one in August and had a wait list of ten people, and that's all we can take. <coughs> uh, the ratio is one to five, so we have uh, I'm the instructor, and then we have a second set of eyes. Somebody that's been through the course mm -hmm. will assist me. So um, and. You know, to finish something and already have the next one filled before you've set the dates, uh, it's kind of
kind of indicator of what a great demand it is. So the, is this one filled or? No. It's not? So no, it's not yet. It's we, we go through the wait list and some people, the date I chose may yeah. not, yeah, you know, there may be a conflict. Yeah. <laughs> this one happens to be on a Wednesday, September 18th. And they can, uh, you know, sign up by calling uh, the visitor center at eight seven zero four four five three six two nine, and the girls at the front desk will <coughs> register them. We have a checklist of things to bring. They'll bring a lunch and you know, clothes, shoes. You can get wet, sunscreen, those type things. Is but there a minimum <coughs> age? Uh, no, uh, under eighteen, they have to. Uh, a guardian has to sign for them. Um, but no, I've actually had uh, some 13, 16 year old, uh, and they want to learn how to do it right, you know, and not get out mm -hmm. there and, mm -hmm. and make mistakes and be reckless. And, and I was really impressed by that. And then it's just a, it's just a, a huge sport that's yeah. just absolutely taken off. But some of the laws, people just don't <coughs> have a clue about. Uh, like in a non-motorized boat, you've got to have a mesh bag. Uh, I brought, <laughs> brought one. I mean, just to give you, this is a dry bag. This is, we go over some of the gear too that, and like I said, the laws, but you've got to have a bag like this. And Arkansas passed a- it's Tater bag, isn't it? it I mean, well, kind of like a tater kinda, bag. <laughs> kinda, it is, and you can use that. Yeah. But the laws, uh, if you don't have one of these, you can be fined. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. What is that for? No, and some of the other laws, it's to put trash, trash? in. Okay. Yeah. Um, mm. No glass containers, uh, cooler lids. Should not must have any glass on the, on the river. No. And these are Arkansas laws that uh, were passed uh, several years ago to help protect and keep our streams and rivers clean and free of debris. Uh, but, you know, attach and use mesh litter bag for garbage. Uh, any canned soda or drink you have has to be in a floatable koozie. Mm. Uh, wow, if you I didn't know that. kayak or canoe after dark, you've got to have a, like a headlamp, some sort of light. Um, <coughs> so, I mean, just those things a lot of people um, aren't aware of. And, and we cover so much stuff in this class the different types of boats, difference in white water, recreational touring. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and again, uh, the strokes, the parts of the boat, dif uh, you know, the different kinds of boats. Uh, so lots of information crammed into a six hour course. <clears throat> now you not only talk about being on the river, but you also do, uh, uh, I guess, day tours where you go see bald eagles and, right. and uh, hiking trips and different things like that. Right. Wildflower. I mean, you do yeah. the whole gamut of things. Yeah. As the park naturalist, you know, we, yeah, I'm kind of know a little bit about a lot of things, but master of none, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The kayaking, though, uh, courses, I had to be certified to instruct that. But, um, but and, and speaking of the kayaking, I'm so many people ask me, where can I go? Who can I go with? Yeah. Uh, you know, and I'm looking for someone to, if they want to start a paddling club, uh, I think that'd be a great thing for the community. And, and I approach, there are a couple of kind of uh, groups that have paddling clubs uh, about, a, we're going to have a cleanup. I, and it's on September 21st, but we're going to sponsor uh, a lake and area <coughs> trail um, cleanup. And this will be for divers. Uh, hikers, cool. kayakers, mm -hmm. canoers, mm -hmm. boaters, uh, and they can pre-register, and that's on September 21st at 7.30 uh, is registration. Uh, actually, at 7 to 8 is registration, and then the cleanup is till 1. So, so the cleanup is on the river and through the hiking, some of the hiking trails too? And, and the lake. So and the we, lake. Right. Okay. Divers will register at the Bull Shoals <coughs> Marina, and all the hikers, kayakers, canoers will register at the James A. Gaston Visitor Center. What, what do some of the divers bring up? Oh, unbelievable. Everything. <laughs> uh, Sunglasses. E yeah, <laughs> e everything you can yeah. think of. And, there, and there's data sheets that, are, that they will fill out of the different types of items. We'll yeah. weigh everything that's brought up. So we'll have a total uh, weight to submit. 
And, and this data is going to be used to really make a difference. Their money will be spent on targeting what's the biggest trash problem in the yeah, lake yeah, area, yeah. Uh, on the lake. Is it glass? Is it plastic? Is yeah. it uh, cigarette butts? Is <coughs> it tires? You know, yeah. uh, there, you know, it'll, it'll be interesting and, mm. and I hope, uh, but that's something that kind of, you know, the kayakers will participate in divers. And the, the kayakers, will they p actually pick up trash that yeah. they can find? Right. And, and then kayaks, what, what, uh, they'll, well, they drape it over their kayak to no, carry it or? No, put it in the, either the cockpit <coughs> of their boat or mm -hmm. on top. And we're going to have a tour boat making a constant like okay. U shape out there. Uh, in the lake for the trash pickup to, to for them to offload their trash and okay. start over uh, and then the divers will have two boats at designated locations the divers will come up you know and bring their trash to that mm -hmm. boat mm -hmm. uh, because uh, somebody with the dive flag up you can't get within a uh, hundred feet of them so mm -hmm. uh, that, that would be fun for people that wanted to have a reason to go diving or yeah or and kayaking a, or yeah <coughs> and it, it's amazing um you, you know the trash that's that's especially with the high water we've had so um but you guys do a really good job though at keeping the areas clean everybody i i think t when i go it seems like our lakes are cleaner than other lakes I've been to, just the shorelines and things. Oh yeah, I think absolutely. Do a really good job with that. Absolutely, and it's events like that on the 21st mm -hmm. that that make a difference. And you can find both of these events on our uh, website at uh, ArkansasStateParks.com. Click on Bull Shoals and then go to Events and Programs. And everything that we do, the night hikes, the uh, wildflower walks, the um, you know, uh, owl prowls, uh, the cleanups, the kayaking workshops. We do snorkeling <coughs> programs, mm -hmm. workshops. So everything is on that website. Uh, it's a great source for uh, most everything we do, too, is at no cost. Mm -hmm. So a workshop like that, um, just the handout, the information in the handout comes out of a $30 book, you know, and to rent a kayak is... Uh, I don't even know what some of the concessionaires yeah, no, around the yeah. lake rent them for, mm -hmm. but thirty dollars for that kind of information, all the gear supplied, all the information you mm -hmm. get, I think is a, a real bargain. Yeah. So. Well, it's a it's a great way to if you're interested in a in a hobby you've never tried, this is a great way to get started. Right. It's a beginner's Absol classes mostly. Absolutely. And, and, and the, the, give you not, give you a, a a reason to maybe go further into the hobby. Right. And and make yourself you know <coughs> more safe and secure mm -hmm. and uh, and have that confidence to to get out there and float our rivers and streams and lakes. Yeah. yeah. Well, this workshop uh, for for kayaking. Is, is there's it's uh, it's open right now there's right. there's some there spots some available openings. and right. you only have 10 spots available so right. by the time you hear this um, if you're interested at all you might want to give give a call to Julie or call the visitor center right. and that number again is 870-445-3629 uh, and, and this is going to take place on a Wednesday in the middle Wednesday. of the week the right. tw 20 September 18th. 18th 18th right and then the cleanup <coughs> is September 21st yeah. Uh, and that, again, you can call the Visitor Center for more, more information about, about that. that. Okay. Uh, but great, great stuff okay. going Lots on. Good. Lots of activities. Well, we yes. appreciate Lots you being here, as always. I love seeing always you here. love coming to see you guys. Well, if you've got time, and I know that you're busy, busy, busy. Yeah, thank you but, very uh, much. But anytime you want to come, let us know. And we love your media releases, and uh, we get the word out as, as, as to many people as we can, as best we can. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Julie. Thank you very much. Our last guest, would you like to introduce her when we come back? I would love to. <coughs> Miss Shirley Spitzer from Twin Lakes Playhouse. Okay, stay with us.